Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at VeloxPro. If you can hear me and see my screen, just type yes in the questions. All right. Thank you, Jim, right off the bat. Good morning, Homera. Okay. All right. And others? Yep. All right. Yep. Welcome some of the new people. Uh, Francesco. Francisco, sorry. Um, and um, all right. Well, uh, let, let's get started here. So, um, we're going to go through some of the order flow here uh, and uh, a quick review uh, this morning. Um, we have um, a few things, a few different things to look at, but uh, we'll start off here with the risk disclaimer. Trading futures and options on futures involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information you can find out at bookmap.com. Uh, become a member there and you'll have access to a lot of the free resources. Uh, please note a lot of some of the free resources are in the handouts folder there for this go-to webinar. So you can download uh, from there the uh, uh, Bookmap 5.0 user guide. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, some of the features and components of Bookmap, there's also the um, HFT um, uh, intro guide, uh, and uh, which is a great resource. Um, we covered some of it last week about uh, uh, passive and aggressive limit orders as well as sweeping of the book. And I also put in there, the uh, continue to put in the um, uh, rule 575 uh, from the CME because um, uh, this is, uh, you know, how, how these markets trade. And uh, we're going over uh, information that is very topical and pertinent uh, in these markets. Uh, and Bookmap can visualize a lot of the information that is right there in that um, uh, 575 rule, okay, talking about spoofing, talking about um, uh, flipping of the order book, talking about dangling orders, uh, you know, all, all sorts of different things. Uh, and um, uh, we can visualize all of that for you. Um, and uh, there's a lot, been a lot of questions about that, uh, about some of those elements and phenomena. So anyway, I keep it in there. I, I know it's not the, the most exciting reading, but um, uh, I'd be happy to, uh, to show you uh, guys uh, any questions that you have uh, regarding some of that phenomena and um, I show it uh, right here in Bookmap during these webinars. Okay, so these webinars are for you. Uh, ask any questions that you have uh, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, do my best to answer them. Uh, okay, so um, learning the, um, the order flow with Bookmap, uh, before I get involved uh, in that, uh, if you want to give Bookmap a try, okay, there's a, a trial period of 14 days. Uh, it's under the pricing tab here at bookmap.com. And um, uh, yeah, you will need to, uh, to put down a credit card. Uh, however, uh, once you, uh, you do that, uh, you'll have a, a free trial for, uh, for 14 days. So it's really risk-free. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, let us know and we will refund you and no questions asked. Um, then you can see the two different versions that we have, the basic and advanced, 49 per month for the basic, 99 per month for the advanced. Uh, they are uh, billed quarterly, uh, and um, uh, the difference here between the two, okay, so there's the, um, uh, these add-ons uh, and, uh, and the ability to trade right from the chart here, uh, which is a, a huge bonus. Okay, so uh, looking at some of the uh, new features in Bookmap 5.0, like the automated strategies that we have, uh, as well as the uh, new indicator panel uh, that uh, you can um, uh, write your strategies uh, or indicators, uh, you know, proprietary indicators. You can you can write them uh, in our API, and uh, I'll go over a lot of those details uh, as the week progresses here. Uh, Homera. Um, uh, I can answer that uh, your question here about uh, um, subscription uh, uh, offers, other offers um, in uh, uh, via email, okay? Um, and um, custom solutions. So, so this is another uh, offer here as well through the um, custom solutions, right? For for quants and prop shops, uh, if you're looking for something, uh, writing something proprietary, it will uh, reach out to us here, uh, and uh, we'd be happy to uh, to work with you. Okay. All right. Um, some of the resources. I want to go through that. All right. So, uh, so you guys have uh, uh, an idea uh, where to go uh, for some of these things uh, that I just mentioned, like the uh, recorded webinars. Okay. They're all here when you um, come into the um, 
uh, members area or the portal up here. All right, you will come into the educational tab here, and uh, this is where you'll find all of the uh, the videos. Okay, so these are the educational videos here, the recorded webinars. Click here, uh, and the um, uh, to view the uh, video snippets. Uh, click here. And uh, Pro Trader webinar series, you can click here, and you can see the other collaborator, collaborators that we have, other traders. Uh, if you are interested specifically in how some of these traders use Bookmap, okay. So uh, uh, this will get you started here. There are several, uh, and let me go to that playlist, uh, and I want to show you uh, what uh, what I'm talking about, okay. So here's our our YouTube page. Uh, the uh, video snippet, the order flow video snippets, um, there's a playlist for these as well. This uh, video here, you can see it's three and a half minutes long, uh, and it goes over phenomena that we saw on Friday. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, you can review the webinar if you like. Uh, however, uh, I would um, uh, really encourage you to watch these video snippets because they're very short and concise, and they go through uh, the phenomena uh, uh, very quickly uh, and you can digest that information and then you'll see it again and again in Bookmap. Okay, uh, That video or the we webinar from Friday is underneath it. You can see it here uh, in, in full detail if you like. All right. Uh, there are other playlists that I mentioned. Uh, click on the playlist here uh, for YouTube. Uh, here are these order, order flow video snippets uh, at the top and uh, let's just click on that. Okay, and you'll see the playlist here uh, on the uh, on the right hand side. Okay, so there are 77 videos in here. Okay, like I said, these are very short, uh, and this is the quickest way to get up and running learning Bookmap. Okay, if I go back, uh, you can see here's the recorded webinars playlist. Same thing, you'll see the playlist on the uh, uh, right hand side, and then underneath here, you can see all the different. Um, uh, uh, traders uh, we have listed uh, using Bookmap. Uh, there's uh, getting to know Bookmap here. Um, uh, you can see all the different traders here, uh, and uh, Futures Trader 71. Um, and uh, yeah, just take a look. All right. So um, uh, here's our Pro Trader webinar series that we had um, uh, a few weeks ago, some weeks ago. If you want to watch those videos. Uh, so uh, anyway, those are the resources. If you need uh, more information, uh, you can reach out to us at uh, support at veloxpro.com. Okay, right here is the email. Whoops. Uh, anyway, uh, let's look at the order flow. All right, so we have non-farm uh, on Friday. So um, I'm not sure, uh, uh, you know, what, um, uh, I, you know, the kind of, Looking at some sideways action, I would imagine, uh, until uh, a little more information comes out uh, and um, uh, some of that non-farm uh, data. Um, uh, looking forward to, to getting some more insight on Friday. We know that the Fed had spoken, uh, or Yellen had spoken, I believe, on Friday about um, uh, interest rate hike uh, in March. So um, uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's take a look at some higher time frames first. Okay, um, so using the order flow and book map, uh, let's just we'll, we're going to uh, look at a big bigger picture first, uh, the macro levels, uh, and then we're going to look at the book and the micro structure, and we're going to integrate the two, right? And that's going to help you uh, put the bigger pieces together. You know, you can use book map for scalping; uh, it's an excellent tool, uh, but um, you know, most of the traders are using this on higher time frames uh, and then getting insight from the order book at their levels of interest, okay? Their trading methodology, all right? And uh, Bookmap is a platform that can help you uh, with your trading methodology. So you will be looking at the book at your levels of interest and that will allow you to pinpoint your entries, exits, and, uh, and trade management. So let's take a look. All right, so here's the ES, uh, and uh, let me make this uh, chart a little bit bigger. Okay, and this is a 30-minute chart. All right, and let's just zoom out a little bit. Uh, and uh, and what do what do we see here? All right, well we saw the the massive uh, uh, spike to the upside on March 1st, and we're almost all the way back down to where that began. 
Okay, so it has trickled down. I would imagine that um, uh, we're going to probably come down and test some of the stops underneath these guys uh, down here at some of these swings. Uh, maybe uh, maybe this uh, 65 area right here, uh, just to begin with. All right, uh, and um, and and see if they're if they're still buying or not. Are they still interested in this market, or was this spike? Uh, uh, something that uh, is going to uh, get a lot of traders to go long and uh, with the uh, uh, Yellen uh, information on Friday as well as maybe non-farm on Friday, this Friday, uh, coming Friday, uh, maybe, um, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, we'll see a, a correction here. Uh, but uh, we'll just keep an eye out on these levels uh, and um, and keep an eye on our bigger picture here. Okay, so these are some of the levels I'm interested in. Um, and uh, I'm just outlining um, some very simple levels so we have something to look at in bookmap, okay? I'm not, uh, we're not a trading strategy or, or an indicator or any, any sort of methodology. We are a platform, all right? So let's look at a five-minute chart, and what do we see here? Here's our cash open at 930, um, and uh, yeah, kind of muddled here. Uh, we can see the um, uh, move up into this area here. Okay, and um, uh, just uh, it, it completely failed up here at 73, and we have rotated lower and made uh, lower lows for the day so far, all right? Uh, other than that, I really don't see too much at the moment. Um, maybe uh, this, this area here, if we get a return back up into maybe um, the uh, 71 area, uh, I, would, uh, I would be interested. Uh, and then looking at some of these lows here around... Um, the 67 here, all right. So let's look at the book now uh, from from uh, from these levels, and uh, and and what do we see? All right. Okay. Uh, just a moment here. Okay. All right. So uh, here we are at book map, uh, and. Um, uh, what were our levels again? We're looking at uh, 67. Let's, let's put that in here as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm also curious here at uh, 69, 67, 71, 73. Okay, so two points each. Um, and uh, let's uh, draw them in, uh, in book map, uh, and uh, get an idea of what's going on. Horizontal line. Here's our 67 level. Okay, we see high liquidity there already. Uh, and um, 69, this this is this range right here. Uh, and um, 71, ah, you know, I'm, I'm a little more interested actually up here. Uh, and then uh, 73 as well. Uh, here's our 71 level. Now that looks, that does look better. Okay, and then here's our high. Uh, up at uh, 73 and a half, actually. All right. Okay. So uh, we have got some uh, levels to look at and outline. Uh, let me review Bookmap quickly uh, for those of you who are new, uh, and we've got a lot of new traders in here. So um, uh, let's uh, let's take a look here. All right. Uh, what are you looking at in Bookmap? Okay. All right. Well, there's three sections uh, to outline here. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, start off uh, by, uh, oops, I'm going to take off all of the uh, the volume dots as well as the heat map information. Okay. Now we just put our levels in, so uh, uh, disregard these uh, horizontal lines for the moment. Uh, but what we're looking at here now, okay, in book map, I've stripped all the information out except for one item, historical bid and offer. All right, so this is, uh, uh, this is, that's it. We're just looking at that, okay? This is the historical best bid and offer. Uh, and uh, uh, that's this complete window here, all right? And you can see we have an indicator panel for it as well. Um, the, um, uh, the next window over is this uh, elongated rectangular window. This is the live market, okay? This is, this dashed um, green line is the best bid. Uh, currently, and then the dashed red is the best offer. Okay, you can see the last traded volume here as well. Okay, it's this number right here. All right, then you can see the price ladder right right next to it here. 
Okay, so now that's two thirds of book map. The, the last third uh, is our, the, these, these columns here. Okay, and let's just simplify it. All right, so we're just going to focus on one column here. Okay, because we have many different data files to look at. Uh, or data types to look at in the in the uh, columns. All right, but this is your the COB column is the current order book. This is your dome in Bookmap. Okay, so that's your depth of market. All right, so the, you can see the the boxes here. Uh, again, this is your best bid and offer. Okay, this is your level one data. All right, you can see the depth here on the offer up to this white line, and the depth here of the bid down to this white line. Okay, so those of you who are familiar with a dome, that's it. Okay, um, and um, now where it gets interesting here uh, is uh, with this dome data, uh, we're going to project it historically onto the map. Okay, onto your best bid and offer. Okay, now before I do that though, uh, let's uh, just switch on the volume. Okay, all right, so. Historical best bid and offer now has traded volume on it. Okay, very very straightforward and simple. Okay, the volume dots where you we use the aggressor classification of volume, and uh, if you see a big red dot like you do here, that is primarily in this case it is only selling. Okay, uh, if you see a green dot, it is um, uh, buying. Okay. And uh, aggressor classification, what I mean is these are market orders, okay? A dot is produced on the best uh, bid uh, if uh, someone hits the um, market order sell button, okay? They're taking liquidity off of the best bid and it will be a red dot, right? And it will be a green dot if they, they hit the market buy button, okay? They cross the spread, they pay up for it, and that's the aggressor part. Uh, and uh, the dot is uh, produced on the best offer and takes liquidity from the best offer. All right. Okay, and that's it. And you, know, you can see here that uh, uh, there's so much volume that uh, trades in these markets, especially the ES. You can see some of these dots here. There's a combination, this pie display. Okay, it, it's showing uh, uh, both buying and selling. And um, the reason being is that we, we can zoom into this area and I can show you that, uh, uh, you know, down to these, uh, uh, you know, sub-second levels, uh, billionths of seconds, basically. Uh, and uh, I can show you how we're giving all this, all this data here. But I'm just going to keep it simple today. We'll look at the uh, nanosecond uh, levels uh, a little bit later, right? But you can see we're giving the overall delta of the volume. Okay. There's primarily more selling here than buying, but there is some buying in this area. All right. Um, and um, okay, so that's the traded volume. Okay, it's like a footprint chart. Okay, you can see where the transactions are taking place, what type of volume it is. Okay, buying or selling, uh, and how much. Okay, but it's it's done graphically here. It's done by the size of the dots. Okay, bigger bigger dots, more volume. All right. Um, all right. So that's it. So we're just looking at now. We've we've just added traded volume. Okay. Now we're going to add the heat map. Okay. Okay. So this grayscale heat map. It looks uh, very busy. Like there's a lot going on. Well, um, it's actually really straightforward and simple. Uh, what we're doing here and what this heat map represents is the uh, historical limit order book. Okay, so in your dome over here, uh, these numbers that you see that constantly change uh, all day long uh, is liquidity being added and pulled from the market. Okay, these are limit orders. These are sellers up here that they want to sell. They're willing to sell up at these areas. Okay, and they're providing liquidity. This is where they want to deal. All right. Uh, on the bid, uh, this is the depth here, uh, and you can see this. These are areas where they want to provide liquidity and they want to be buyers. Okay, and uh, where the two meet uh, are here at the uh, best bid and offer, your level one data. All right. So let me adjust this heat map a little bit. So um, we've got, I've got something here to demo for you. Okay. All right. So I'm making it a little more busy on purpose here. 
uh, and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this liquidity here, these numbers that you see in the limit order book uh, are given a graphical representation in the live market window right here with the best bid and offer. Okay, so we can see here clearly at 2370 um, even here, uh, this, has, this is the highest area in the book right now, and this is actually very aggressive. We're going to cover this phenomenon in just a minute. All right, uh, but um, uh, this area here is the highest liquidity in the book. Okay, over 1,500 contracts it was just 1,600. Now they're pulling a little bit. All right, so when you see these numbers change, you'll see the heat map um, change as well. Okay, brighter areas, more liquidity. Darker areas, less liquidity. All right, where this really gets interesting is we take the data here and we'll project it on the chart historically. Okay, so notice this this area here that the it, the heat map keeps changing uh, in brightness, and then it's recorded here in these striations in the heat map. All right, so it gets darker, it gets lighter, it gets darker, and right? that's the adding and pulling of liquidity. And uh, this is where it gets interesting because historically now uh, you don't have to remember this in the dome. Okay, you know that there's some interest up at this area here at uh, at 60 uh, or 70 and three quarters. Okay, they're adding and pulling liquidity, but now we have insight to the auction process here at this area. How interested are these traders at this area? All right, and uh, we're going to answer these questions here. Uh, and uh, that's uh, that's what we do every day, right? Is starting to understand where the auction is taking place, and the intent of these traders uh, in that auction process. Like these guys at 70 right now, they're being tested. Okay, it is actually trading with that high liquidity, and now they're starting to pull, right? And they're they're kind of going back and forth here, right? But uh, we'll, we'll cover it in just a minute. But um, uh, you, you can see uh, something is going on here uh, at this 70 level, right? Um, so that's uh, the uh, review uh, of Bookmap. Now let's get into using it and reading it, okay? And uh, let me go back to a presentation, okay? We're going uh, to answer three questions here. We're going to show up to the, the market, the auction, uh, and we're going to um, find out where the large traders are. Okay, um, the um, uh, uh, that's the current configuration of the book. Okay, where are the dominant uh, buyers and sellers lining up? Okay, and then we're going to ask the question of how are they behaving at these areas when price approaches them? Okay, and then we're going to look at also where the transactions took place. Okay, this is traditionally um, the uh, uh, tape reading here, right? Uh, but uh, now, since we have a graphical representation of the auction, we can very simply read that information, and now we have a complete view of the order flow here. All right, so let's uh, let's do that. All right, now uh, using Bookmap, uh, we can uh, get rid of a lot of this noise here very, very easily by using the automatic contrast configurations tool. Okay, this is an important tool. Uh, and uh, a lot of traders keep continue to ask me uh, about the settings. Can I show the settings? And um, uh, the, um, the settings are not, it's not set and forget, okay? Because this is dynamic and there's liquidity constantly being added and pulled into this, uh, uh, this book, uh, you, you've got to adjust your heat map, okay? And you've got to adjust it in a way that helps you, okay? Uh, so, uh, uh, and I'll just show you what helps me, all right? So I'm looking for um, the larger traders, okay, where they're providing liquidity, and I want to see if they're really willing to trade at that area or not. That's the insight I'm looking for, all right? And, um, you know, sometimes I want to look at maybe a little bit more grayscale, uh, if there's, um, uh, you know, not so much action, so I, I get a little bit more insight. Other times, uh, I just want to look at, you know, very high areas of liquidity, and that's it, okay? So it depends, all right? And you can see how quickly uh, I can um, adjust for that, okay? It doesn't take much. 
like a little tweak here, a little tweak of the white cutoff for me, and I'm and I'm good. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so let's answer that first question, and then I'll get to uh, some of your guys' questions here. Right. So the first question uh, is, um, what's the current configuration of the book? Okay. Well, right now, and it's not the highest liquidity, but um, we can see they're here at 69, and they're here at uh, 70 and three quarters. Okay. We noticed them before here at 70 and three quarters, uh, and then these guys are kind of new. They're coming in here uh, at 69 just a few moments ago. Right. Okay. Now. Um, yeah, let me, I'll, I'll answer the next question here uh, after I get to some of your guys' questions. All right. Yeah, thanks, Francisco. Um, uh, I'm glad uh, this is uh, insightful for you. R really, uh, uh, you know, reading reading this book is, uh, an, an understanding of liquidity is is just uh, tantamount to, to, you know, understanding uh, order flow here. Uh, and it's been disregarded for a long time because it's impossible to read from the dome. I mean, it, or if you're going to read it from the dome, uh, it takes a long time to read it, and and still, uh, you're it's going to be very difficult to uh, remember historically. Uh, you know, a certain price level, how much liquidity, how long they stayed there in the book, uh, did they continue to uh, um, show again? Uh, did they pop back in? What about the areas around it? Um, or was it a larger trader that's providing the bulk of that liquidity and pulling it? All of these kinds of questions, it's all here in Bookmap now, all right? And uh, and you don't need to, to remember all of that. And it's very tedious to remember uh, uh, reading the tape or the dome that way. Okay. Uh, Joseph, um, how do you get the trade panel on the left? Okay. Um, the, uh, you click on the uh, trade control panel here, okay, and it will uh, open up, and then you enable it here, and you can see that it's open, uh, and then you, you choose the um, uh, size you want to trade here, uh, and then it's all about clicking here in this window, okay, uh, and um, left clicking is always a buy, right clicking is always a, a sell, okay? and I'm not going to go over the details here, but um, uh, it depends on where you are. Uh, in the um, in in terms of um, uh, the best bid and offer, okay. So uh, if I left click down below, these are market or these are limit buy orders. All right. So anyway, that's that. Um, all right, and uh, this again, this is going to be for the advanced version. If you're connected to the live markets and you want to trade from the bookmap chart, you will need the bookmap advanced version. Okay. Uh, let's see here, Kawika, no, I'm sorry, uh, Daniel, okay, uh, is the market making activity around 11.18 or so? Um, yeah, Daniel, not, not sure exactly what you mean, um, but um, we, I, I'll cover this uh, phenomena here in just, just a second here, all right? Um, it kind of evaporated, but um, uh, we were witnessing it, uh, and this is a, it's a, a sweep of the book, and then um, you know a flip of that book. Okay, and that's what that's what I'm going to cover. Vertical line through all levels. Uh, in the heat map. Ah, okay. So you're seeing something. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me let me uh, let me take a look. I understand. Yeah. So this is what you're looking at here, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's let's cover that. Okay, so I'll have to adjust the heat map a little bit, and uh, you can see also the zoom level uh, makes a difference here. Okay, well, um, yeah, I mean, uh, this is going to be al algorithmic activity, like, um, uh, pre pretty clearly. Uh, you know, I mean, look at, at these price levels uh, all at the same time. Uh, you know, uh, all of a sudden there's liquidity in here. Well, how, I mean, is it, it's possible, you know, the algo could read another, 
uh, ALGO's uh, uh, activities uh, and then also uh, uh, provide liquidity. Okay? There's, there's pack hunting type of uh, activity that, that does occur uh, in these markets all the time. So um, that is possible. Uh, it, it, it's possible this could be just one individual uh, actor uh, that is willing to provide lots of liquidity uh, and start lining up in the book, okay? Uh, and um, all, all at the same time, okay? Uh, now, um, this is a good example of, um, no, it's just, they're just pulling right when it comes down to it here, okay? Anyway. We'll go over that. We'll go over this in just a minute. Let me get to a few more questions. Um, let's see. Kawika, uh, how do you know what version I have? I do not have the line. Okay, in the CVD. Yeah, come up to help uh, and about, and you'll find out. Okay. Uh, this is the Bookmap beta version. So if you're uh, uh, if you downloaded the regular Bookmap version. Uh, then um, it's going to look quite a bit different than uh, the uh, user interface you see here. Okay, so if you want to try that one, Kawika, then log in to bookmap.com and then download and install right over your 4.5 version. Uh, you know this this uh, beta version 5.0. Okay. Um, yep, you're welcome. Uh, let's see. Francisco, the white rectangles areas of the left. Um, so, it, which ones are you are you speaking of, Francisco? The, uh, the, these here uh, in the uh, current book. Yeah, absolutely, they matter. No, okay. Oh, far, far left. Well, these are historical, right? So let's let's uh, let's bring up that large. Let's bring up the white cutoff too. Okay. So this is this is the, the high areas of liquidity that we saw previously. Okay. Well, I mean, it, do they matter? Uh, I, I would say I, I get I gain information from them all day long, uh, lots of insight and information. Okay, and um, uh, although this was high liquidity here, and <laughs> look at look at how price reacted, you know, and um, no, no, this is it's this is um, uh, uh, liquidity that um, uh, here's your current market window. Right, so we we know that at 67 here, uh, there's less liquidity now than there was previously because it's darker. Okay, uh, but there is high liquidity here at 67 still. Right, but uh, let, let's we're going to gain some insight here, and we're going to be reading all this and putting all these pieces together. So so bear with me, uh, and uh, and we'll, we'll we'll continue on here and answer these these three questions. Okay. Um, Let's see here, Benjamin. Uh, can you discuss the import levels? A cloud knows automatically. Okay, so uh, Benjamin is talking about other data types here. I've only covered the current order book. Okay, uh, there's another column here, another current order book. But uh, if I just right click in this column, and you can see all the different data types that we have here, and current order book is what's currently selected. Okay, you can format that column. Okay, and uh, I can show it as um, as numbers only, okay, that's similar to the one I have to the left, okay, as bars only or bars and numbers, okay. So the setup that I like uh, is to have bars only, and I don't like to have it extended, okay. Extended book means the historical data is included, okay. I just want to see the lit book, okay. Uh, and then uh, graphically, then, then I like to also uh, align it to the left, right. Okay, so now the... Um, uh, you can also add notes, okay? That's a data type that you can add here. So let's uh, right click in this column. I'm gonna insert a new column, okay? Now I have two CVP, okay? This is just chart range volume profile. And I'm gonna right click and, uh, and you can select cloud notes. Now the cloud notes uh, feature uh, is working only with, um, with uh, S5 uh, for the moment, okay? Uh, and um, 
the um, uh, you can use the custom notes uh, here though uh, and um, let me uh, actually let me refresh that okay all right so uh, custom notes here you can uh, add a, a note uh, just click on a price level okay so let me do that I'll click here right at 73 and uh, let's just say you know something swing high okay and give it a style here uh, you can also put an alert on it you can enable alerts for it okay uh, and then we just click OK and then here's my note all right so um, that's how you can add notes you can also uh, import a note um, in I don't have time to go over it today, but we can also import notes from an Excel file uh, or CV, um, I'm sorry, um, uh, comma separated um, values uh, file uh, right into Bookmap here. All right, and then I'm going to get rid of that uh, uh, custom notes for the moment here. Okay. Uh, Joseph, um, a GPU acceleration option. Okay, so Bookmap is uh, pretty light on your um, a CPU. Okay, uh, and uh, you know instead we'll use some of the GPU, the uh, graphics uh, uh, processor, uh, to to display this information and data, basically at higher resolution than a um, uh, high def uh, movie. Okay, so um, you can find that under settings here, uh, and then uh, uh, GPU acceleration. Now, if you don't have a, a graphics card, that's uh, that's fine. Or if you're running into problems with your graphics card, uh, first update your drivers to make sure that's working correctly. With uh, maybe you upgraded to Windows 10 or something like that. Uh, and um, uh, if I uh, disable it. Okay, you're, you're just going to note that Bookmap is, um, it, it still displays all the same data. Uh, it's just going to display it um, a little bit, um, uh, not, not quite as smooth. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be um, uh, just a little, little bit um, uh, less smooth. And that, that's basically it though, right? You're going to see all the same data here and it's all going to be updated in real time, right? Um, so, uh, but uh, you know, I, I do like the smoothing. So uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to keep that on. Uh, and um, Francisco, okay. So let's get into those those questions again about the order flow. All right. Uh, and uh, so we read the current configuration, and then we want to understand how the book behaves when price approaches these areas. And then we're going to read the transactions. All right. So. Uh, this is what I was looking at earlier, okay, and uh, wanted to cover. Okay, so this was our swing here at our level. Okay, we had a we had a level here, uh, and uh, it was at 69 actually, um, and uh, looks better here in Bookmap uh, as we drill in at 69 and a half, uh, and um, uh, we saw a breakout here. Okay, and then uh, at that time uh, we started to see very high liquidity. Okay underneath and this is a flip of the book okay they were here on the offer and they're flipping and providing high liquidity here on the bid okay uh, but they pull that liquidity okay some of it trades in here there's no question about that uh, but uh, it's not very much uh, so now we knew that the the configuration of the book were the were these areas of high liquidity okay so we, we can see up here at 71 very high liquidity Okay, and then down here at, at, at 67, for example. But these guys here, um, uh, as price came right into them, and, and they're being very aggressive here, uh, they, they pulled a lot of that liquidity. So the intent to trade here, uh, you know, the, were, were these, did they really want to trade at these levels? And, and you, can, you can pretty much answer that uh, definitively, no. Okay, they're pulling liquidity, all right? If they were going to support it here and support this breakout and they really wanted to buy, they would stay in the book. It's a FIFO market, first in, first out. They will get their price uh, and um, uh, and they're looking to support price at higher levels. Okay, And uh, you would probably see a reaction to the upside. All right. Uh, instead, uh, they pull that liquidity 
uh, and you can see the, the sellers start to take uh, 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 the aggressive stance here and they start to hit the bid. Okay, and there's really not really that uh, high liquidity, areas of high liquidity here until we get down into uh, some of these levels here, okay, where they're, where the, where they're going to find the, the uh, buyers on the bid here, okay, and right now they're at 67, okay, and uh, they were showing here a little bit at 67 and a half, but they're starting to pull. Yeah, they could. I mean, yeah, they could be inducing. They could. It could be some sort of spoofing. I mean, you know. I mean, there's all sorts of ways of of looking at the intent of these traders. But um, uh, just keep it. We'll keep it really simple here. Uh, and um, the the market needs liquidity to trade, uh, and uh, it's searching for it right now. Okay. And uh, this is where uh, it has. Um, they were providing high liquidity before. Okay. And this is why this is an important area, Fran Francisco. Right, because this is where they were pro providing high liquidity again. Are they still here? And so far, yes, they are. Okay. Notice as price is coming down here, okay, toward them, okay, they're starting to add up, add and line up in the book. Okay, they're getting interested. They're getting in line here. Okay, so that's giving you insight to this level. Okay, they were here previously, and now they're showing up again. Okay, so these areas, uh, you, you know, uh, historical uh, understanding of these areas is uh, is important. Okay, now it doesn't mean that um, you, you know that uh, it, it's going to the market's going to come down here and bounce and go wildly up. Right, we need to continue to read the intent. Okay, uh, we can see that um, uh, you know some of this was pulled in some of these areas, so it's a little fickle in here. Uh, but we also see a lot of transactions that, that took place down here, okay? Um, Homera, the, uh, once you open up bookmap, you start collecting this level two data, okay? These are millions of data points, okay? So it's not, um, uh, you know, if you look at a candlestick chart, you can go back years, right? Well, that's because these are very, it's very simple data points. Uh, you know, you're looking at thousands of data points. Here in Bookmap, you're looking at millions of data points. Okay. So uh, that's why uh, uh, when you open up Bookmap, you start recording the data. All right. So if uh, you want to record uh, specific data, um, uh, you know, you'll have to open up Bookmap uh, at that time. All right. You're welcome. Um, Oh yeah, I mean the liquidity can be pulled, uh, no question, uh, Fran Francisco. There's there's no question about that. Uh, but um, uh, that's where you know we're going through this process here, right? We're we're understanding the context of this market, right? I don't care about one individual event. I'm caring about more than that. Uh, I'm caring about some of these levels. Uh, did they stay in the book? Did they trade? If they traded, these larger and these are larger players providing high liquidity. They're going to defend this area, okay? So you know they they want to buy. They're buying, right? Until the sellers can overwhelm them, these guys are buying. Okay, look at them get more aggressive here. Okay, so we're starting to get more context to these levels. Can they pull? Absolutely. There's no question. Right, but um, they're providing higher liquidity here uh, on the bid than this area down at 67. Okay, so uh, they want to be a buyer at a higher level. Okay, putting these pieces together. Okay, uh, also look at this. Uh, we had a break uh, from this area here uh, at 69 and a half. Okay, this was channeling and we broke above it. Now the price didn't accept up here for very long, and it trickled back down. Okay. But we're starting to see uh, some uh, some interesting things here. This can lead to a possible reversal. Okay, uh, so um, uh, it, you know we have a price structure that's broken. Okay, uh, we're reading the transactions as well. And now uh, let's get into let's get into that. That's the we've read the book. We've read the and, and given value to these areas historically here. Uh, and understand them, but now let's uh, let's read the transactions. Okay, that's another part of the order flow here. Okay, how's how's it going with the transactions? Where are they taking place? 
right? The majority of them are trading at lower lows, okay? Even up at this area in this breakout area up here, now, there's some that traded. There's no question that um, uh, some traded up here, but how does it look compared to some of these other swings here, okay? So this isn't very convincing to me, all right? If I saw big dots uh, that uh, transpired up here, uh, then uh, yeah, I'm looking for price discovery uh, back into this area because price did accept at that area, uh, and I'm looking for discovery to the upside. All right. So uh, and but that didn't I didn't really get that. Right. Uh, instead, I, it looks more kind of like um, uh, there's still a slant in the transactions. There's still a slant to the downside. Okay. More volume trading at lower lows. Okay. But uh, we're also reading the book when we're putting these all these pieces together. Because if you just go with the transactions, uh, you know, you're not getting the full piece of, uh, of the order flow. Okay. Instead, uh, you know, we're, we're integrating the transactions with the auction process. Okay. And the auction is right here in front of us. Okay. 67 to through 68. Look at the high liquidity. Right. Look at the effect it's having on price. Okay. So, you know, I mean, these, these things matter, right? Uh, and, uh, and we can see the intent of these people on the auction. Okay. And think of it like an auction, all right? Because uh, they're lining up to trade and, uh, you know, they're, they're jumping into the, uh, the room uh, bidding at higher levels than previously. Okay. That's showing pretty bullish behavior. All right. Um, let's see. We've got to wrap it up. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes. Uh, a few more questions, uh, and then uh, and we'll call it a day here. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Benjamin. Okay. So there there are um, uh, different settings for the uh, large lot um, tracker. Okay. Well, that's one of the add-ons. Okay, and that add-on is uh, displayed here in the current order book column uh, as bars or bars and numbers. Okay, and it's this little white line, vertical white line that you see at these price levels. Okay, what this uh, add-on uh, indicator shows uh, is um, uh, with high probability that uh, uh, the liquidity uh, held from this uh, white line to the left is one individual actor. Okay. So we're, we're showing uh, larger traders here, okay? And we're reading their intent as well, okay? So again, you know, the, these um, uh, add-on indicators uh, are insightful uh, at your levels of interest, okay? This is more of kind of a, a final confluence, okay? They don't give like a, a binary signal here, right? Uh, and so far, like, um, you know, I mean, you can, you can play around with the settings. You can, you can make them... Uh, 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 you know, so very little show, uh, or or quite a, quite a few uh, show. Um, okay, Homera, if you if you have the um, uh, uh, book map uh, advanced version, then you you'll have access uh, to these uh, add-on indicators here. Right now, the uh, the the red numbers that you see here is another add-on indicator, and that is the iceberg detector. And what it displays is liquidity that traded that wasn't in the limit order book, okay? So how can something, you know, up here, how can there be um, uh, selling that occurs here if there's no liquidity? It's impossible, right? Well, it, it is possible though with a hidden order, okay? So it's an iceberg, right? You can see that uh, they're um, uh, lifting the offer into an area and liquidity is, is actually, there's, it's not being displayed, but it's actually trading. So, you know, that's a, a, a larger trader usually will use the hidden order type to disguise their position. They don't want to show 1800 contracts here or whatever. Uh, it will, um, they will not get, they will not get filled. Okay. So they're interested in um, using uh, iceberg orders or hidden orders uh, to, uh, to not show their hand in the book. All right, so you can see up here in these areas here, there, there was a lot of icebergs previously. Okay, that gives insight, right? Uh, I imagine as price comes back up into these areas, we'll see them jump into the book again. Like, uh, or I'm sorry, we will see some people jump into the book up at these areas, right? And a lot of these icebergs will still, I'm sure they'll still be active, you know, if they're still in their position, 
Okay. All right. So anyway, uh, you know, um, I'm not um, reading, reading and putting all these pieces together. Um, actually, today we're we are getting more insight from the limit order book. Okay. Uh, and uh, these these areas here, and especially now, uh, you can see them bidding up very aggressively. Okay, uh, every other tick here. Okay, and you can see the the reaction that uh, it's having here on price. Okay, now they're starting to they're providing liquidity here, but they're also pulling it. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, I am kind of looking for a test of this area here, uh, up at uh, maybe our 71 level, and then I'm interested again. Uh, of looking at what the book looks like when we come up to that 71 area because there was a lot of iceberg uh, activity bo before there previously. All right, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that pretty much wraps it up. And you know, looking at uh, all of these all of these pieces together uh, and um, uh, getting a sense of what's going on uh, at these specific levels. Okay. All right. Um, value area. Uh, Francisco, you're looking for the value area. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, in some of these volume columns, um, there's a white line right here, and this is the VWAP, okay? Uh, and, um, uh, you know, this is, uh, SVP is session range volume profile, so when I open up bookmap, I start collecting volume. And so this is the VWAP right here uh, of the entire session. Okay, we can also get a VWAP for the uh, chart range volume profile, but chart range volume profile just means if I zoom in, I get a I get a uh, um, a profile for the data that's in my uh, chart range. Okay. Um, no, is volume weighted average price? Okay, VWAP. All right, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you're looking for um, uh, a value area. Um, you know, you're looking at, um, uh, you know, something like 66% uh, of or 68% of the trades that took place in that area. Um, you know, it's, it's something a little different. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, let's wrap it up and uh, we will uh, we'll catch up with you guys on, um, uh, on Tuesday. All right. Uh, hopefully we'll see, uh, well, we saw some interesting stuff. I mean, no, no follow through uh, whatsoever. Um, but um, uh, you can see that they're starting to line up here, okay, uh, at uh, the 71 or just below 70, uh, 71 here, 70 and, and 70 and a half, okay. Uh, but they're they're very, being very aggressive here also on the uh, on the bid, okay. So uh, we're channeling between those two areas at the moment, okay. All right, guys, yeah, let's uh, let's call it a day, and um, uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow, okay. Bye-bye.